All right, what you're seeing here is uh, the new control for my air suspension. We have two wire harnesses and a control box. And uh, basically this is going to allow me to control my air suspension with my iPhone. So I can show you how that works. Uh, this app can be downloaded in the App Store regularly. Uh, it's also on Android Market now. This app came out a couple of weeks ago for iPhone and uh, just recently for Android. So Airbag It is the name of the app. It says device not connected because it's not connected. So what this is going to do, it's going to allow me to control all up, down, and then all four corners individually. There's also uh, different latch settings on here for one and two. These are like auxiliary pulses. Um, so you can change latch time also. So if you have like a linear actuator that you're using or you want it to go out for five seconds and then back for five seconds or you can double tap it to turn it on and off. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'll probably be using one to pop my trunk and maybe one whatever I can else I can figure out. Um, so there's also a different um, different screen so I'll hold the center for a couple seconds and it'll allow me to change uh, my controller type so there's a help setting uh, latch time for your your two different latches and you can go up to 30 seconds and I can change a controller so I go back and now it has a different controller with four different settings so you can use these for your pulses and then rear up down all up down and then front up down so that's pretty cool. It gives you a lot of a lot of different options, and this just works with Bluetooth um, through from the phone to the box. So it's pretty cool what we can do now. Uh, so I'll be doing an install on this and showing you how it works. All right, and just right away to go over some basic install stuff. Uh, here's going to be your ground to the box, and this is going to be a constant positive source, 12 volt positive source. It's going to be a constant. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. Just a plug-in for your LED. Goes in the small plug side. And here's your wire harness plug. And from green to orange, there these are wires 1 through 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 10. Alright. So your orange and your red, these are going to be your 9 and 10 for your latch. And then these are going to be all 8 for your... Um, for your up and down for each solenoid so all eight so you have two for each corner um, and looking at that on your um, on your device here on the on the right side one two three four and then five six seven eight and then nine and then ten so that's what all the wires are going to be for so one is going to be for your right rear down two is going to be for your right rear up so that's how that works so that whenever you push that button it's going to send a signal through that wire to that solenoid or whatever you're using um, if you don't remember that go into your help menu and they made it real simple here complete install guide all the instructions all the wiring that you'll need um, colors one through ten how to install an actuator um, and how to uh, install it with other devices that they offer like your plug and play stuff um, other control modules so it's pretty pretty flawless how they have it set up okay and just for reference right now it's about 10 after 8 uh, just for a reference of time and how long it's going to take to install this so what I've done here now is uh, I've opened up my center console where I had my existing wiring for my uh, switch box. And if you already have an air ride suspension done, it should be pretty simple to set this up because all your wires are already there. They're already labeled uh, according to your box. So you already know where you're, where you're at, so you don't have to do any wiring uh, at the solenoid. So you should just be able to go right from your box. Um, pull one wire off at a time and then connect it to the new wiring harness and you should be good to go. Uh, so I'll get going on that and then show you where right, I'm at. Just for those who are curious, who aren't normally familiar with my channel, who just came for the uh, installation of this, uh, why you're wondering why my center console looks a little bit different. Uh, I'm in the middle of a pretty big car audio project right now. Uh, so I'm doing a lot of fiberglassing. Uh, stuff's not really ready for paint. Uh, supporting on the roof, bracing. Uh, 
So that's why my center console, everything looks a little bit goofy, but now we'll uh, get into the wiring for the air ride. All right, so it's a couple of minutes later, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. I got a couple wires done, and so what I'm doing is I'm just pulling it out of the box in the order that I need them. And, like, there's a wire there that I have exposed, and that's going to go to this purple wire here. So they're both stripped, they're both ready to go. So I'm just pulling it out as I need it, and then finding the one that I need, and then wiring those two together and then go to the next one. And this is the next one I need. I'm going to pull that off and I'll put it on the next wire. All right, so the time is 8.47 now. I will go into the uh, app now. So it's been about 35 minutes and that was including um, finding a screwdriver for five minutes and then I also had to put a battery in the trunk because I haven't had a battery in the car for a while and airing up the tank and everything. So. Um, I'm going to go into the settings here and uh, see if I can figure out how to do this. <laughs> Alright, so I'm doing this in real time. I haven't actually hooked this up yet. So let's see, I got to go to Bluetooth, wherever Bluetooth is. Okay, Bluetooth. Alright, so right away it found the Smart Ride C Blue not paired. So I'm going to click on that. And, uh, pair. So we can see the LED turned from red to blue. Now it's turning green. So a solid green color, I believe, is good. Connected and ready. So it says, so it connected real quick. I'm still like waiting for it for some reason, but I guess it's already done. So let's check it out. Um, so I'm gonna go all up. Let's see here. All up. And now my car just jumped up. Cool. Um, so I'll do this corner down. I'll do the front. Let's focus on that now. Pretty cool. So there it is, airbagit.com. All right, I just wanted to play with the uh, air ride a little bit more. So here's the iPhone. Unlock it. Go into the app. So I'm going to do the right rear down. Takes that all the way down. Right rear up. Jumps up pretty nice. Uh, I believe this this device actually has some kind of like uh, damping in it, or um, the voltage output is a little bit different. Uh, it has a very smooth uh, travel when it's going down. A lot smoother than my other control unit that I had before. It would just seem like it just dropped. So uh, very nice.